Welcome back everyone to episode 3, Inspection Day. Um, so I had a friend with me on today's uh, inspection visit and uh, so it was great to have an extra set of hands coming along. Um, this video is a little bit different than the others. I've just kind of uh, sped it up a little bit. Um, you guys have already pretty much seen an inspection so uh, that's why we're just kind of going to go through this a little bit quickly. First thing we did here is we checked, we pulled out our screened bottom board and checked the sticky paper that we had on it. If there was any mites that had fallen off of the bees, um, they would have fallen onto the sticky paper. Um, I was very happy to see that we did not find any mites, so that's really great uh, to see. That's showing me that the mite count in the colony is extremely low. Mites are a very dangerous thing to a hive. Um, if your colony goes into the winter with a high mite count, um, this can actually be a, a hive killer and you can lose, that's how most people lose their hives over the winter time is due to a high mite count. So we'll continually check their, uh, the, the mite level throughout the summer and going into fall. Most often you will treat for mites in the spring and in the fall. Uh, if your count starts getting high in the summertime, you will have to do an, another treatment. So we give the girls a bit of a smoke. We're going to take off our hive cover there. We're going to remove our inner cover. Remember on last episode is when we added our honey super on. So we're going to uh, just kind of check a couple of the frames in the honey super, see if the girls are doing anything here. And uh, I got myself a new J uh, hive tool, so just getting used to looking at it. Uh, now I was seeing a couple bees on the frames, which was really great to see that there were some bees up there. Not too many and they hadn't started drawing out any comb yet. So that was good. So we're just going to uh, take the honey super off here. And you'll see that we've got our queen excluder underneath. So we're just going to peel up this queen excluder. And uh, my friend was giving me a really great tip here. So if you actually put the queen excluder so that it's kind of more like face up, if your queen happens to be on the top of the excluder, then you're not going to be worrying about her crawling down into your honey super. So we got that all. We're just going to give a quick check there just to make sure that she's not on the top and just kind of give the girls a bit of a look there. And uh, okay, so we're going to give them a nice smoke along the top here and uh, just kind of push all the girls down into the hive, make it a little bit easier to see what our frames are looking like and start pi um, start picking them up. Uh, we did have quite a bit of burr comb along the top of the frames here. Um, bees will build wax in just about any extra space that they can find. Um, so when you get a bit, a lot of the buildup of this burr comb on the top of the hive here, uh, it's nice sometimes just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, that way when you go to put your queen excluder back down, it'll lay flat and you won't have it um, sticking up in the middle. That way, because if you do, if you have that, then your frames that are in your super, they're going to start sticking up and everything's just kind of going to be out of whack. So this way, everything sits in um, as flat as can be and the way that it should. Okay, so we got all of that burr comb up and cleaned up our frames a little bit. So now we can actually start um, inspecting our frames. Like I said, so this is a new hive tool that I got myself. It's got this nice little J hook on the end of it, which allows you to actually get under the frames and lift them up a little bit easier. These frames can get quite sticky when, especially as more full they get. So we have a beautiful full frame of bees there. Um, they have pretty much drawn out that entire frame, which is great. You can see all that beautiful, nice, clean wax on there. And lots of bees as well. Taking a quick look just to make sure that our queen is not on there. So we're just going to set that aside for a second. Um, I'm going to adjust the camera. I got myself a new tripod to try and help with uh, when filming these videos. So we're just going to kind of adjust things here. So that you make sure that you guys are seeing uh, as, as much as you can. You're getting the best view of the hive that you can. There we go. You can get a nice, nice good look at uh, all the girls there. So okay, we're gonna start pulling up frame number two. 
and not another beautiful frame full of bees. Um, when I first lift up the frame, I'm really taking a good look. I want to try and see if I can find the queen. I'm also looking to see if I can see any eggs or larva. I was really happy to see that I could see some eggs in this frame. Um, so we're just taking the time to point that out to my friend. We're both very new beekeepers. Um, we met in some online bee groups. Um, it's such a wonderful and helpful community. Um, so we've kind of been a really big support for each other um, as we're going along on this journey and learning everything there, there is about um, bees and beekeeping. So we're just going to take another look here, make sure that our queen is not on this frame. Now, if you guys are watching from episode two, um, you can see the uh, the increase in the number of bees uh, since uh, it just in the last week. Um, it always amazes me every time I open up the hive um, how many more bees and how fast these colonies grow. Um, it doesn't take long for some colonies to reach upwards of 20,000 plus bees. Um, they do grow very fast. So, taking out our second frame, again, another beautiful frame full of bees. We've got some capped brood in the middle there. We've got some nice capped honey along the side. This is ideally what you want to be seeing in your frames. Um, this is a really great laying pattern for the queen um, and having the honey stores on there as well. There's probably also a little bit of pollen. This is ideally what you want to be seeing on your frames. Okay, so everything seems to be looking pretty good there. Um, and some of those, you can see how it's a nice full frame at the back there. Um, and some of the other ones, we see empty cells and that's okay because that um, is just where the new bees have hatched and the queen's going to be laying again. So we're just going to keep going and checking our, our frames. You can see on this one here, we've got a lot of some really wonky um, burr comb on the bottom. Again, those, build, those bees building in any space that they can. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put one of the other frames that we had out back. It's always nice having an extra set of hands when you are do, doing your inspections. And uh, just double checking and making sure that our queen is not on this frame. We're going to give this frame a really good shake. Shake all of those bees off. Double checking, make sure our queen is not on here. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to be going and scraping off all this burr comb that's along the bottom. Again, we're just going through, cleaning up the frames, tidying everything up, and uh, making sure that our, our hive isn't going all crazy. And if your bees build too much down to the bottom and they're almost attaching the bottom of your frames to your bottom board, then things can just get really messy as you're trying to pull your frames up. So there we go, nice and empty. And uh, if you build that frame there, you can see it had a lot of empty cells, um, but that's also where you're going to be seeing a lot of your larvae and um, eggs. So everything in that colony looked good. We're going to switch over to our daffodil girls here. Remember, these girls are a couple weeks behind um, the iris hive. So it's a, a, the hive inspection for these girls is a little bit quicker. Um, they are doing very well. They are starting to draw out some of their new frames. Very happy to see that. Um, this was a really good hive inspection today. We found eggs in both hives, larvae, uh, cap brood, and we found both of our queens. Um, so that is a great inspection. We were seeing everything that we wanted to see. Uh, now, while we're still going through here, I'll just giving you guys a little bit of an update. Um, as I was going back through my videos, uh, especially on my iris hive, the one that's further along, um, I had noticed that there was a lot of uh, queen cells. Um, I'll definitely point those out to you guys in another video and explain what they meant. Um, these queen cells were swarm queen cells, which is an indication that our bees were looking for more space. So even though they had that honey super on there, they weren't recognizing that as more space to grow. So upon uh, reaching out to uh, a, a few other beekeepers and some that are very experienced beekeepers, 
I was instructed to go back into the hive, make sure that I destroyed all of those swarm cells. I removed that queen excluder that we put on the hive. I took that out um, and that way, um, and I moved a couple of the frames around. So this way it was to encourage the girls to really fully draw out the little bit of the frames that was left in that deep box on the bottom and also encourage them to go up into that medium super. So that's what we did and you guys can see when we go for our next inspection how the girls will be turning out there. So it was another great day out in the bee yard. Uh, I was so happy to go out and see my girls again. Everybody is nice and happy and back together. So thank you so much for joining me again. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time, guys.